And the physics behind superconductivity is quite interesting. It was um, discovered by three people, Bardeen, Cooper, and Schieffer, at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. And it comes from the fact that electrons can interact with the lattice of atoms in a superconductor in a very specific way. Here's what's going on, okay? So you've got two electrons. They're the little tiny blue dots. And then you've got a lattice of, of atoms, which are these, which are these positive charges. Um, well, they're really neutral, but they've got positive neutral uh, nuclei. And yes. then, so, so the, the positive is the, the teal color. What happens is when there's an electron in that lattice, what it's gonna do is deform the lattice in a way that the positive nuclei are gonna kind of get smudged towards mm -hmm. the electron. Now, what is that gonna create? That's gonna create a localized positive charge where the electron is. Because usually that electron and all the positive charges would perfectly cancel out. But because all the, all the positive charges are now sort of scrunched up and localized, there's a higher density of positive charge there than the electron is able to cancel out. So there's a slight positive charge there. And that is going to couple with the negative electron. And that's in the lattice okay? the right. And these two, these two particles, they obey um, the Pauli exclusion principle, meaning that you can't have the quantum states right on top of each other. But because they're two different electrons, you can have them obey the Pauli exclusion principle within themselves right. and create something called a boson. Like these two are fermions, meaning that they obey the Pauli exclusion principle, but together they 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 use their dis disagreement to sort of cancel each, each other, other out, out and create a boson. And this boson is something that can have quantum states that are right on top of each other. And so you have very different physics. You can have something, I mean, I, you might have heard of something called a Bose-Einstein condensate. I, I was literally going to just Right? So the Bose-Einstein condensate is this idea that all, like when, when you get something really, really cold, they start behaving like bosons. Yes. And then they start going on top of each other and they obey like one giant quantum function. That's what these Cooper pairs can now do. Okay. These are called Cooper pairs. And the pairs can act like quasi-particles that can stack on top of each other. And you can have this kind of Bose-Einstein condensate in your superconductor, right? And what that means is these, these, this condensate can now move around right. like a single quantum like state. It, it, it almost has this shared state across these independent electrons. Yes. Um, that, act at, you know, that act in unison as an, as an emergent effect of this, the, these parameters that you yeah. just described. And so they can, it's like multiple play pairs. They, they occupy the same quantum state. And because they're occupying the same quantum state, they can move as one. And so the electrical resistance, which is what you usually get when all these electrons are bumping into each other, uh, is no longer there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so that's how superconductors work.